right, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. No matter the trials and tribulations of the regular season, everything smells like roses when you wind up in Pasadena. The granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl, is coming up. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Pasadena, California is the site for the Classic Rose Bowl, and the fans are generating some noise as they get ready for this game. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's got the corner. He's taken down at the 26. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. the 40. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. Clemson's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinator. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. the middle for a nice game. Caught, open field. And they push him out right around the 40. Davis gains around seven yards with a catch, and that's good for a first down. How about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. They run straight, brought down quickly. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 40. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down at the 25-yard line. That's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25. Gets it. He's in space. He's knocked out of bounds around the 16-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here's a running play. The 10 makes it out to about the 7. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Runs right for a nice game. This is 
the tenth play of this drive. And they'll get him in the backfield. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. This is a very important play for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. They can't hang on to him. And he's tackled at about the three-yard line. Clemson is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Tremblay gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Mike 55, Mike 55, eat, 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 eat. Scramble it around. They bring the quarterback down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. Mitchell to punt. offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Clemson has a three-point lead. Hall off the fake. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. He scrambles and picks up five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 46-yard line. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. And that one goes for about five yards and first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. First and 10, ball on the 38. Nice run up the middle. That makes it second and two. Gets out to about the 28-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Tackle after a decent pickup. Clemson 
holds a field goal lead. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. And this play is number eight on the drive. Recovered. Lily's the kind of impact player that every team in the country would love to have on their team. And we've seen some early film on him. Kirk and I, you know, we looked at it. He looks legit, but we'll see if it translates to real competition. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackle at the 42-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. Nice run to the outside. That's good for a game of five yards. Both offenses try to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 3-0, Tigers. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Room around the corner. He takes it right side for a good game. Here we got a chance to see the halfback take the sweep. I thought there was pretty good blocking up front, and he was able to take it for the first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 48. Here's an opening. Makes it out to about the 36. He makes his way out to about the 25. From the 25 yard line. First down. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Let's go, defense. And here we go. Mark 55. Mark 55. Play fake. Tackle made at the one-yard line. I really don't think this play is going to work if the linebacker doesn't take the bait on the play action. That opened up the room that the offense needed for the first down. First down. Knocking on the door here. It's first and goal inside the five. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Touchdown, Cardinals! Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 67-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Stanford is ready to kick it away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Off play action. Now he's on the move. Decides to slide. And they picked up four yards on the scramble. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. He 
He's on the run, and he's going to come up with a sack. From their own 27-yard line, it's third down. Looks for his running back, incomplete. And that'll bring up a punting situation. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Stokes fields it at the 30. At the corner, he makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. He showed a good burst there. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Stanford holds a four-point lead. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. But well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Field. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's at the 30. He's taken down at the 26. From the 22-yard line, second down. Looks left, picked off. He's into the open field. Inside the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. About the play by the defender. That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. You know, you wonder about the mindset and the psyche of this football team after the turnover on the last possession. It's going to be interesting to see what they're really made out of here. This is an important possession for this offense. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Great run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Fires it out. Brought down around the 
the 20-yard line. Parks is back to receive. He gets it away. This is a really nice punt. Parks takes it to 36, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. And they're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Clemson is up by three. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. Around the 50-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Stanford's going to use their first time out of the half here. Tremblay is waiting for the snap. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. One minute left in the first half. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. Motion, motion, motion. He flings it left. Green here, and the halfback's got it. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five-wide receiver set. He dives, and he'll be marked down. He's tackled at about the 35. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down at the 27. Complete across the middle. He's tackled at the 14-yard line. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 
Clemson's got a three-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. You got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio the best seat in the house. It belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Nice run there. Johnson gets six yards on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They go with a pitch to the right. Tackle at the 32-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. He makes it out to midfield. From midfield. First down. play hard the next time they hit the field. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Kirk, good news. The guy that we saw go to the locker room with that injury earlier is back on the sideline, and I got to bet he's going to be back in the game soon. He scrambled. And he's tackled in the open field. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 48-yard line. Clemson is up a field goal. So he picks up about five on the option to the halfback.
That's a great tackle at the 47-yard line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. Hey, it's the last game of the season. Might as well pull out all the stops. That's a great play by the defense. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's at the 40, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 36. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 36. First down grab by the receiver. Tackle made around the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line, it's first down. Little pass over the middle to the fullback. And they make the stop around the 13-yard line. Makes it out to about the 11-yard line. It's third and eight. Ball on the 11. Throws. That's incomplete. That would have been a great play if the throw were just a little bit more on target. Stanford is looking to tie things up. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. It's important for this offense to reestablish their continuity. The last time, they were unable to move the ball down the field. In fact, they were taken off the field after not converting on a fourth down. They get the football back. Let's see if they can reestablish that confidence. And they finally bring him down at the 41-yard line. and 10. Let's see if they can build off that great run. Scrambling around. Runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down to the ground. Scrambling. Broke away from one. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line. First down. Has some daylight. Shakes off a tackle. And he's level at the 22. Yard line. From the 17-yard line, first down. More, the ball carrier. 
He takes it right side for a good game. coordinator big time play taking that ball all the way in maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run that is a clutch touchdown tie game and they find a way to put it in for six i know there's a lot of time left but that was a big one and he converts the extra point so that's a seven play 74 yard drive and it results in a touchdown and brad right now the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches opening up some big running lines. so our score 17 10. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he is drilled at the 41. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Gets it. He's in space. Knocked out of bounds at the 33. That makes it first and 10. From the 33 yard line, it's first down. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. Clemson's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back to the end here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Fires out to his receiver. He's pushed out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And this play is number eight on the drive. Fights forward to about the 13. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Tenth play of the drive. He makes it to the six-yard line. And down he 
he goes around the three yard line. The offense is down by seven, so this is a very big third and goal. They're on the two-yard line. Touchdown, Stanford! This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. Stanford, kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. He's tackled at the 27. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. They'll go with the run once again. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Defense does a really good job here of timing it up and knocking the ball away. I think they were anticipating pass on third down. Now we'll see what happens here on this big fourth down. Tremblay awaits the snap. He's tackled at the 35. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he just gets rid of it. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Hey, check right, check right. Five. Tackle at the 45 yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. This one is a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. They'll bring him down to the 19-yard line. From their own 19-yard line. Second down. And he tackles him hard at the 29. the catch and look out he's knocked out of bounds at the 38 yard line
from their own 38-yard line. First down. Pressure coming. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Just over a minute left. Got it and brought down immediately. Stokes, the return man. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Late here in the fourth quarter now in a tie football game, and it looks like, barring another score, we might be headed to overtime. Dumps it complete over the middle. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. Stanford's going to take their first time out of the half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 41. And they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. Stanford's going to have to use their second time out of the half. They'll have one more chance for the end zone. Deep pass to the end zone. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled right away. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Brings up a second and goal. Ball on the two. Touchdown, Clemson! Well, this is what it's all about in college football. I score. Now we'll see if you can respond. Great teams always find a way to come through. And he adds the extra point. from the 25-yard line. First down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's 
screen pass. He's got his halfback, and he hits him hard at the eight-yard line. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Eight yards out. Touchdown, Cardinals! So they come up with the equalizer. This offense did just what they had to do. They knew they needed six points, and they got it. That was just a great series. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Second and ten. Ten yards to the end zone. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Third and 11 here. Ball on the 11-yard line. The offense took an errant shot into the end zone, and I'll tell you what, that one should have been picked off. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to hear all about that from his teammates when he comes over to the sidelines. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. First and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. Falls on it. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. From the twenty seven yard line, second down. Got it on the quick throw. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Shoved out of bounds at the 24. The kick is up, and he got it. He looked totally calm there, didn't he? He knew what he had to do, and he just drilled it. Both teams are dead tired, but one is going to outlast the other. This is looking like a classic in the making. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. 
Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. The ball was underthrown. It was a good read. He just needs to find his rhythm back there and step and throw the football. yard line first down and they get the sack they simply have too much speed for this offensive line they're just too quick off the ball on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Play action here. He's going to scramble. Makes the tackle, and he'll score. Touchdown. two points here they'll spread the field here let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook they don't get it sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack that's what happened there and 10. Ball on the 25. He gets sacked on the play. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush an extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. He heaves it to the end zone. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. So three overtimes later, this may finally be it. They're only a couple yards away from victory, but we saw how difficult it was for the other team to get it in from there. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. Clemson, 33. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action of this one? Well, what can you say when you have two evenly matched teams come in and duke it out and go into overtime? Clemson has got to be disappointed with this outcome, but they did show great sportsmanship in the loss. This football program is a class act. And for Johnson... His great performance earns him our player of the game. For the Cardinal, they tack on another win to improve to 11-3. And, and for the Tigers, this loss will put a damper on what's been a great year. 